What's up, everybody? So, it's been two weeks since Jordan Peele's Us hit theaters, and honestly, I have so many questions. So today, we are going to unpack this. This is the untethering of Us. Happy Saturday! All right, so before we even jump into this, I just want to say spoiler alert, okay? If you have not seen the movie, baby, I will be spilling tea today. So we got a family of four traveling to Santa Cruz for summer vacation. It's something that they do every single summer, okay? We got Adelaide, Gabe, Zora, and Jason. And they kind of get caught up into the zombie apocalypse, but actually it's more like a clone apocalypse. But yeah, that's the gist of it. When I saw it the first time, I absolutely loved it, but I had a lot of questions. It's really a movie that makes you think. And I was like, whose idea was this to come up with, you know, all these clones are these clones only in America how do they have these different sectors of clones there's just a lot of stuff that really don't make sense and I'm really gonna have to sit down with somebody and figure this out first let me tell you what the tethered are the government has created these people because they want the tethered to control the untethered so the untethered are the real people the tethered are the clones okay and they want these people to control these people but the experiment fails and it doesn't happen one of the first Easter eggs that is presented at the very beginning is Jeremiah 11, 11, which is actually a Bible verse. The thing about the 11, 11 is that it is continuous. Even the news station is 11, 11. When she picks out the shirt she wants, it's number 11. And this is what I realized is that when you put two and two, that is actually four ones, which is a family of four. Our main character is Adelaide, and her tethered version is Red, right? Okay, so we find out at the end of the movie that actually Adelaide and Red have switched places. So in all actuality, Adelaide is Red and Red is Adelaide. What I want to point out is that we knew from the jump that Adelaide was switched. And let me tell you the reasons why we knew this. Okay, so first of all, she only eats red food and she only eats fruits and veggies. When they are sitting at the table at the beginning of the movie, everybody's eating like Long John Silvers or something. And she has strawberries, which is because as a tethered person, they can only eat raw rabbit. So the, the daughter, has a rabbit on her shirt from the very beginning. Then she changed to a sweatshirt that says thou, which is Vietnamese for rabbit, okay? Also, when they're in the car and they turn on, I got five on it, the little boy Jason is in the back and he's trying to like get to the beat and he can't get to the beat. So she turns around and she's like, here, snap on beat. But the thing is, she ain't snapping on beat. She off beat. And when I saw it, I was like, is that an editing problem? Like, why is she on the thirds and the fourths of this beat? That is not correct. Also, another thing is that as a kid, when baby Adelaide walks into the fun house, she starts whistling the itsy bitsy spider, right? When there's another voice that is off pitch. Uh-huh. Okay, you getting this connection? Because if the off pitch one is going off, that means that that is the tethered version. So if Adelaide was actually the real Adelaide because she can sing Itsy Bitsy Spider on pitch, she would have been able to snap on pitch. Well, not on pitch, but on rhythm. Yeah, you get it. All right, now when I tell you this theory, it's really gonna snatch your wig, okay? Because every time I tell somebody, they get their panties in a bunch and be like, that's not true. But my theory is this, Jason, the son has also been switched with his tether. And let me tell you why I think this. Okay, so first of all, Jason is on the beach, right? And all of the kids running around, whatever. He's sitting there building tunnels. What kid builds tunnels instead of sandcastles on the beach, right? Okay, another thing is that once, okay, so let me tell you this. Jason's tethered is Pluto, right? Okay, so when Pluto comes up and everybody else is trying to kill their other, Pluto's not trying to kill Jason. Instead, they trying to play together, right? And they go up into the closet and that is where Jason realizes that he can control Pluto. Now let's get into this gag, honey, okay? Because the government had the tethered and the untethered because they wanted the tethered to control the untethered. Ain't that the answer? Ain't that the answer right there, okay? If the tethered can control the untethered, Jason can control Pluto, which is how Pluto backs up into the fire and dies. Come on, it don't get no simpler than that. Also, this is nothing. 
Jason has this magic trick that he left a year ago, right? That he can't seem to light this match. It ain't nothing but a match, right? But guess who can light something? Pluto downstairs. Pluto downstairs. And since Jason can control Pluto when he's doing the magic trick up to his mouth and it's not doing anything, Pluto's down there getting burnt up. That's why his mouth is all burnt. And people were like, well, wouldn't um, Pluto be able to talk? No, baby, because the burns have actually shut the mouth closed. How unfortunate. I was on a roll. Yeah. So that's the basics of what I thought. I'm still very overwhelmed, but baby, the facts are the facts. Drop your comments below. Let's discuss this. I can't wait to talk about it.